time AT2 to group, air warfare qualified, avionics technician for VP9, world famous Golden Eagles. One of the unique challenges of working with P3 is dealing with old and new technology interfacing with each other. We're dealing with newer systems that we really haven't worked with before and we're working on older systems that break down frequently. But thankfully we found a way to get it to work throughout this long and storied history of this aircraft. Without, yes, without us we wouldn't be here doing the mission. We couldn't fly overseas without, over an ocean without radar or HF. We're an important part to making sure that we can deploy. And our systems are what allow us to com complete the mission set we are given. The P-8, from what I've heard and from what I've researched, is very Tron-centric. We have to, we're going to be on the plane a lot, but we're on the plane a lot now with the P-3. It's going to be a new age though. While this is a lot of hardware and wire chasing, the P-8 is going to be a lot about software and, and newer systems that aren't going to require as much in-depth like breaking down of. I'm looking forward to new challenges. I mean, just seeing a new aircraft, uh, working on newer systems, maybe finding a, and just a new scope, you know, I mean, we're, you're seeing the end of the P-3, you're seeing the beginning of a new aircraft present with new challenges and new adventures. I like to think that um, we're going to be setting the standard and really breaking ground as the Trons of a brand new platform.